good day children hope you all are fine today let us go on with unit 7 poem the house on elm street written by nadia bush what i mean by elm street children elm in the sense a large tree that loses its leaf okay a tree where there is no leaves that is known as elm now here the house on elm street there is a tree you know where there is no leaves now let us let us go on with the poem children it, it sat alone what happened there is still today unknown it is a very mysterious place and inside you can tell it has a ton of space but at the same time it is bare on bare to the bone okay now it sat alone to whom does the poet says it sat alone it sat alone na huh? the tree is left alone okay now near a house no children in a particular street where there is a house no, near to a house there is a tree where the tree is uh, no it, it is alone it is left alone now what happened there is still today unknown the author says no he is totally unaware of what's happening uh, there in the house you no know, there is a big house see uh, here the author is uh, trying to portray the student see he is talking about this house you could see the house is really you no know, very big house and the tree is left alone see in the street in the elm street there is only one house is seen and next to that uh, house a uh, tree okay where there is no leaves he is talking about this tree what happened there is still today unknown he is not aware of what what happened or what's happening is totally unaware it is a very mysterious place strange mysterious in the sense strain a very strange place the place itself no see you could the moment you see the picture it's there in your book children that is uh, page number 202 if you see the picture itself no it seems to be a mysterious place something strange it seems isn't it this house and that scenario everything nearby no it seems to be strange okay and inside you can tell it has a ton of space inside na he is talking inside the house that the house is very big and it's a ton of space na you have vast space inside <coughs> obviously where there is big house no for sure you will have much space also but at the same time it is bare to bone bare to bone na no one lives in the house the house is left empty the house is so big and it is so much of space inside the house that no one occupies the space the house is left empty at night the house seems to be alive lights flicker on and off i am often tempted to go to the house to just take a look and see what it is really about but fear takes over me see how beautifully the poet has described uh, this lines it is in a very simple language children you will also understand when you read the poem at night the house seems to be alive in the sense uh, day time mentally the house is dark but night time no it it is seem as if no many people are inside uh, and uh, no people are moving talking it seems to be alive as if you know some are there inside lights flicker flicker on and off what do you mean by flicker children flicker in the sense see when uh, lights you no know, it keeps uh, on and off that is flicker okay so he says at night time uh, it is seem as if people are inside the house and lights are glowing i am often tempted to go to the house author no i mean the poet he really feels like uh, going inside the house and to watch what is there actually how come during day the house is silent and during night no i could hear the people uh, as a house is alive na as if people are moving or talking okay and lights are glowing uh, during night how is it possible okay 
to just take a look and see what is really about so author no he is really tempted tempted na he really wish to see what is happening inside let me just go and see once let me see you know what is there how come during night time uh, lights could glow and people could move let me just have a look he has that thought in his mind but fear takes over me but what happened he is really scared to go inside the house why he is scared to go inside the house uh, in the sense you know see the look of the house itself is it is scary imagine a day time okay but uh, night time how it will be children obviously uh, no any person who goes alone he will feel uh, scary he will be afraid to go inside okay that's what he says but no really i am afraid to go inside the house he says Okay. I drive past the house almost every day. The house seems to be a bit brighter on this warm summer day in May. It plays with your mind. To me, I say it is one of the kind. No, the I drive past the house almost every day. In the sense, the poet, no, he says every day he passes the house by the side of the house. He goes every day. Okay, maybe whenever he goes to job, no, he has to pass the house. The house seems to be a bit bright. Uh, no, he feels as if the house is, uh, uh, no, it's becoming a uh, bit bright enough. Bit bright, na, little brighter. He could find out. On this warm summer day in May, it plays with your mind. No, he is describing uh, which month. You no, know, it is summer month during uh, uh, summer season during uh, May month. Uh, to see me, I see one of the kind. You, you know, he is describing the house, uh, children. Uh, you know, in summer month, the house seems to be a, a little bit uh, bright. Uh, uh, it is of different kind. Beside the house sits a tree. It never grows leaves, nor in the winter, spring, summer, or fall. it just sits there never getting small or ever growing tall how could this be you know besides the house there's a tree see you could see a tree beside the house beside the house na very close to the house there is a tree okay it never grows tree never grows tree na there is no uh, leaves it never grows leaves no leaves in the trees not in the winter spring summer or fall see no season the leaves grow children in a way there is tree no obviously uh, in uh, winter season the leaves will shut down and spring season it will grow new leaves will grow uh, but and summer season also leaves will grow but here in this um, this tree no which is next to the house for no season the leaves grow that's what author says not even one season the leaf grows in this tree then what sort of tree is this children it just sits there never getting small or ever growing tall this tree no it is just beside the house it is neither getting uh, short nor getting tall which means it is not at all growing it's not growing trees uh, not growing leaves or uh, branches not growing tall or short nothing it is growing children for years together author is saying this not for one or two years years together the tree is just sitting as such how could this be children where there is tree obviously it should grow isn't it that is only tree but how could a tree be just like that years together no leaf no stem no branches uh, branches are there now what uh, stem and branches there this much only it is not growing further on okay now poet is surprised how is this possible how could this be rumors are constantly being made and each day the house just begins to fade what happened inside that house i really don't know i guess it will always be a mystery rumors are constantly being made rumors in the sense uh, children just imagine <clears throat> when you see this type of house what sort of rumors you will get what sort of thing your friends will say related to this house as if there is some spirit inside some devil is there inside some ghost is inside uh, no this is what uh, people they say 
that is what rumor rumor in the sense something which is not real is known as rumors constantly be made na continuously people they keep on making or saying something related to this house in the tree and each day the house just begins to fade every day no children the house begins to fade na obviously years together where you don't uh, whitewash the house where don't paint the house what will happen children the color of the house will fade okay that's what he's saying what happened inside that house i really don't know no one knows actually the poet says what happened inside the house why people are not here no one is living in this house why the house is left as such what happened in this house no one knows i guess it will always be a mystery no the poet says it will really be a mystery uh you no know, forever this will be a mystery no one will know what has happened inside the house unless we go and investigate what has happened none will know what has happened inside the house obviously children you will have some thought the moment you see this house no you will have some idea what would have happened no who is inside the house what is happening inside the house all this you will have your own imaginations but uh, i i cannot say your imagination is wrong possibilities is there okay for sure so many things all uh, devilish thing might be inside or might have happened okay poem is very simple children very nice poem very simple poem yes for sure you will love the poem do read the poem children after the after watching the video do read the poem you will understand the poem better okay anyways children once we shall go on with the uh, uh, appreciation part okay though i have given you appreciation we shall just have a glance i sat alone wait let me go with appreciation part okay i sat alone what happened there is still today unknown it is a very mysterious place and inside you can tell it has a ton of space but at the same time it is bad to bone what does it refer to children it refers to the mysterious house okay pick out the lines that indicate the size of the house poet is asking which line says the house is big the size of the house which line says and inside you can tell it has a ton of space see this line indicates the size of the house uh, the last line it says no ton of space in the sense you have more space i dare pass the house almost every day the house seems to be a bit brighter on this warm summer day in may it plays without your mind it plays with with your mind okay to whom does i refer here i refers to the poetess okay nadia bush it is here poetess lady poet that's why it is known as poetess pick up the alliteration word in the second line children second line second line see the house seem to be bit brighter what is the alliteration words here children yes girls from the uh, from the second line you can pick out the alliteration words okay that is bit and brighter now it never grows leaves nor in the winter spring summer or fall it just sits there never getting small or ever growing tall what does it refer to it refers to the tree that is beside the house here third uh, thing it uh, no uh, it in the sense it is a tree in what way the tree is a mysterious the tree is a mysterious because no leaves grow in it during any one of the season it neither grows tall nor does it becomes short
rumors are constantly being made and each day the house just begins to fade what happened inside that house okay does the house remain the same every day no the poetess doesn't know what happened in the house okay how does the poet consider the house to be mysterious children there are many rumors about the house and hence the poetess considered the house to be a mysterious what is that mysterious children something strange mysterious in the sense something strange uh, that is uh, um, where generally it doesn't happen that is known as strange what happened inside the house i really don't know i guess it will always be a mystery does the poet know what happened inside the house no the poet doesn't know what happened inside the house what is the mystery about the house the mystery about the house is nothing but the fact that no one will know what is happening inside the house yes it is really a mystery isn't it children no one will know what's unless someone says what it is none will know what is happening inside the house mm. yes children see here rhyming words in stanza 1 stanza 1 what's the rhyming words see here he has given uh, uh, one word the remaining two words you will write uh, what's the rhyming words children in stanza 1 alone it's there then unknown born see it is rhyming to alone it is rhyming unknown born then uh, space for space what's the rhyming words for space place space place or place space okay then from third line third line uh, i mean from third stanza pick out the rhyming uh, uh words from third stanza for me what is the rhyming word for me day day me okay the next uh, rhyming word from the same stanza mind is given for mind kind yes kind this is uh, no it's relating in sound mind kind k i n d now from fourth stanza fourth stanza last word children first thing they have given tree uh, what's the rhyming word for that tree tree b okay tree b yes next line is tall for tall what's the rhyming word tall meaning word is fall tall fall okay so here no rhyming words we have done it now coming to the next part we shall see the rhyming scheme from the first para what is the rhyme scheme from in the first para children yes children rhyme scheme for the first para is a a b b a okay a a b b a okay for next uh, for third para what's the rhyme scheme a b a c c mm. then in fourth para what's the rhyme scheme a b c c a yes you have written Yes, children. Here, see, they have given the explanation part of figure of speech on. Okay. Now, to which figure of speech, which line, which line it goes, you will write. We go on. To the poetic lines, you must uh, write. Okay. Here, see the figure of speech in which part is made. to represent the whole or vice versa 
sinicoid chain. Here example, the western wave was all a fame. The western wave is a sinicoid chain as it refers to the sea by the name of one of its parts. It is waves. Okay, now related to this, uh, what's the uh, lines in the poem? The house seems to be a bit brighter. Okay, mm, now paradox. What's paradox? A figure of speech in which statement appears to contradict itself. Okay, see contradict. Now see here the words cruel and kind contradicts words like opposites, cruel and kind. Uh, what is the lines here? Light flicker on and off. Okay, light flickers on and off. On and off, it's an opposite word. So, then onomatopoeia. I said no sounding words. See, figure of speech where the words imitate the sound associated with the objects. Pitter patter, pitter patter, raindrops on my pain. Okay. Now, what's the uh, lines related over here? Rumors are constantly being made. Okay. Then, rhetorical question, a figure of speech in the form of a question that is asked to make a point rather than a elicit an answer. Children, where uh, there is a question in poem, no children, it is known as rhetorical question. Now, here what is the line? Uh, what happened inside the house? The poet is asking, no, what happened? So, that sentence is known as rhetorical question. Yes, children, hope you have understood the poem. You will do it. I want you to read the poem and understand. Yes, children, after the video class i want you to read the poem for your better understanding clear okay